Short term disability versus FMLA, which is short for Family and Medical Leave Act. As a worker, these are your two main protection options if injury or illness leaves you unable to work and earn a living. We'll compare the two in this video, starting with definitions. Short-term disability insurance replaces part of your income if a temporary injury or illness prevents you from doing your job and earning money. The Family and Medical Leave Act is a federal government program that provides employees with up to 12 weeks of unpaid job-protected leave each year with health benefits. In terms of income replacement, short-term disability insurance replaces between 40 and 60% of your monthly income in the form of a monthly benefit. FMLA does not protect and replace any of your income. It is an unpaid federal benefit. Let's compare short-term disability versus FMLA for length of time. Short-term disability insurance usually lasts between three and six months, but can be longer, like one or two years. FMLA allows employees to miss up to 12 weeks or three months of work per calendar year. Employees can take 12 consecutive weeks or can take days off over the course of the year. Next is job security. Short-term disability insurance does not protect your job you can still lose your job while on disability insurance. FMLA protects your job for 12 weeks while on leave, but nothing more than that. Employers cannot fire employees for requesting or taking FMLA leave. However, employees can still become terminated while on FMLA or if they just return to their jobs, as long as the termination was unrelated to FMLA leave. Finally, requirements. There really are no specific requirements to get disability insurance. You have to apply with an insurance company and may get declined for coverage. Insurance companies will make their decision based on things like your occupation, age, and health history. If you have disability insurance already, then the requirements to start receiving benefits is that your injury or illness must impact your ability to work and earn an income. That will be determined by your carrier after submitting your claim. There are a lot of requirements with FMLA. As the employee, you'll have to meet the following to qualify. You must work for an employer for at least 12 months and for at least 1,250 hours. You must work at a location where the company employs 50 or more employees within 75 miles. Furthermore, to go on leave, your employer gets to decide whether your case gets covered under FMLA. It must be related to any of the following. Birth and care of the newborn child of an employee placement with the employee of a child for adoption or foster care, care for an immediate family member with a serious health condition, medical leave when you could not work due to a serious health condition. One thing to remember is that you can actually access short-term disability insurance and FMLA at the same time to take advantage of both of their strengths. Thanks for watching. Please like and comment on this video and please subscribe to the Breeze YouTube channel.